Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. It has been suggested to us that we find a lady friend and we get married. Apparently, so the comments of the previous videos tell me, it's going to give us a hell of a lot of right to rule, which may be extremely useful in the coming days and weeks of our conquest here. And seeing as we are not at war at the moment, if we just go to the what's it things here, faction relations report, a very unusual situation where our kingdom isn't at war with anyone how about we dedicate our efforts to going to find maybe a lady friend best way to do that is to find a feast with feasts come tournaments we can maybe dictate or um bestow our win to a lady i don't really think bestow or dictate is the right um word there but we can win in fair maiden's honor perhaps so right now we need to go and find a tournament in fact what we'll do instead of just saying oh no there wasn't one in Dehrim why don't we go to the arena in Dehrim and ask it's actually Dehrim wow I've said that wrong forever anyway let's go to the arena and let's actually another great thing just as I see our oil press there another great thing about there not being no war right now is that none of our productive enterprises are going to be under sequestration excellent stuff right tournaments are nearby Tyr and River Chegg they're both in the very north aren't they well the very north is where we must go then. River Chegg and Tyr. Yeah, there they are. Um, no, wait, Tyr's there, isn't it? Uh, I thought Tyr was where Wercheg was. Right, well, Tyr is the nearer, so that will be where we head. So we win a tournament, we find a fair maiden to wed, we gain a hell of a lot of right to rule, and all will go well from that. Have we got prisoners here? You know what? I'm feeling I'm feeling good today. We'll let those guys out. Um, oh, I did say I was going to order all this properly didn't I off camera and I forgot to do that that's very very poor of me but it doesn't really matter we don't need our army set up correctly for tournaments although forest bandits there we do have people that need to be leveling up right here don't they in fact you know what I'm gonna do it now and we're gonna have a fade to black and a fade back in okay my friends that's everyone set up as they should be all the battle groups are sorted all the ordering sorted that's nice now let's go and test that out and try and get a couple of level ups against some pesky forest bandits while we're on our way to this here tournament we'll charge the enemy but of course oh this is quite the perfect start so what we'll do is we will have archers setting up up here we'll have infantry just oh god what am i doing oh bloody hell what am i doing right um Oh, crikey, that was a bit of a muddle. Right, infantry hold there, but I also need to tell you, chaps. Um, oh, God, what do I... Oh, God, now I've told them to spread out. Okay, that's weird. Oh, well, it's going to be our archers pretty much doing this, isn't it? Um, what we will do, though, is we'll have the light cavalry going in, because I think there's a lot of level ups that need to happen in the light cavalry. Um, messed up the orders there with the um, infantry, so we'll just worry about getting them the appropriate level ups another day we'll worry about ourselves because of course that's that's the big one not to sound selfish or anything but the big one is ourselves leveling up in all honesty our light cavalry coming in hopefully that's going to be a few more lances and stuff as a result that's very good by that horse archer hopefully he'll become a veteran horse archer as a result of his actions here today and that was a good stab i thought we'd be a little too quick there i thought we'd overshoot ourselves slightly but this is good Nice, nice to have a light cavalry focus. There's a lot of light cavalry, by the way. We've got a hell of a lot of cavalry. And by the looks of things, that's our heavy cavalry over there. We can see how many of them there is. And uh, it's our infantry that's kind of lacking right now. But we always knew that was going to be the case, right? I don't really see the point in us taking um, really any mercenary. We've got mercenary cavalry in heavy. And we've got everything under in light. Um, anyway, mercenary horsemen there. That would be good. Lovely. Well, they are only level ups. How troublesome that's become right okay apparently we had lots of rotten stuff on us someone was shouting at me to get get rid of all the rotten stuff i ain't seen no rotten stuff in my inventory there bro okay uh nothing really there oh wait well, say a masterwork hunting bow but it's still not even really worth that much not worth a blooming sausage really is it ah, i'm not even gonna bother not even gonna bother with it but still that was some good experience there that we've been sharing with our party although i don't think any yeah not really not really much in the way of upgrading but that's fine we'll head over to tier and we will as we keep saying find a fair maiden and maybe start a little courtship you know one day that's going to get our right to rule going it would be an idea if we started learning some poems therefore perhaps we'll make camp 
We'll make camp here. There's no rush, I hope. We're going to get there and the tournament will be over and then the next one's going to be in bloody De Cuba or something. Oh, jolly good. Jolly good. Sinister Castle is ours. Now, we need to think about getting it a garrison. Not immediately terribly urgent because we... Well, there's no rush in the sense that there's no one that we're at war with. But what we do need... Well, we need to get those recruiters out. I think we, we take 50 Nords and we take 50... Vegas, and then we maybe take a hundred Rodox. I think that'll be a good thing. Anyway, the tournament is the idea of the day. So we'll do that. And we'll fight in the next round. Hopefully, there is actually a feast to go with this tournament. We can go to the uh, Wandering of Sheiks, I think, or maybe the. Uh, there's people in taverns that can tell us where the feasts are if we can't find one. Is that you, Dramus? On the other team. Yeah, Pansy, get out of it. And that's Lesolit as well. You're all conspiring against me, lads. How terribly rude right i don't really want to be wielding this axe and that's matt held as well my god this is a conspiracy they've put us all in the first round so we all knock each other out bloody typical bloody typical that oh well at least we're asserting dominance over our troops here i guess right a big axe in this guy's head lovely well we dealt with that pretty well excellent job there my friend right better than ourselves there we go lovely 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 Oh, God, we've got a bow and arrow here. Oh, God, he's coming for me. He's coming for me. Defend my honour, sir. Okay. Oh, God, what's going on here? I see that guy thinking he can sneak up on me, does he? Excellent job, my yellow brethren. Excellent job. Right, that is those pesky blues almost dealt with. Lovely. And they're just going to deal with each other, are they? Are they? I think we're overshooting a little bit here. There is a red chap there, and we'll knock him in the knee, or her, I think, by the sound of her cries. There we go. It was a sword sister. It's not a sword sister anymore. What it is is a defeated opponent. And in here, bow and arrow again. I'm not complaining, man. We're all right with the bow and arrow, aren't we? Oh, God. Okay, we need to run. Oh, God, it's a 1v1v1v1. Okay, I'm running. I'm running. Oh, crikey. Okay, they can all deal with each other here. Oh, God, one of them is Arena. Right, I want that red guy to... I'm going to try and shoot the green. Because there's not a lot I can do now. Oh, God. Ah! Hey! Did her with the dagger. How about that, Zarina? That was pretty good. I really thought we, we had it then. Okay, right. Bow and arrow again, most likely. Oh, no. A big, lovely claymore. That's more like it. That's more like it. Right, there we go. Zarina, you ain't got nothing on us. I'm feeling quite mighty. If I'm honest, I'm feeling really quite mighty indeed. We're one-hitting pretty much everyone. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Right, and we must be near the final right now, right? Two teams with one fight to reach four participants over in the semi-finals here. But it is just a 1v1. I don't see where she's... Oh, God, it's a chap with a bow and an arrow. Okay, well, it's fine. We'll just, we'll just zigzag a little bit, and we got a shield if it gets a bit close. You know what? Hit me in the shield. I dare you. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Right. That'll be that. Thanks very much, sir. That'll be that. Lovely. Mm -mm. A premature celebratory swig of water that I just had there. We're in the final. I'm not sure who we're fighting. We should have looked at the participants, but I think they've got an axe and shield just as we have. Or is that a sword and shield? It's an axe and shield. Ow! They get the first hit on us here. Luckily, we're quite... We're made of pretty stern stuff. And are you not entertained, lads? There we go. That's a win. Um, but unfortunately, no tavern to accompany it. But there is a fair maiden here. Potentially a fair maiden here. Um, hello, Lady Jadeth. Oh, she looks a little... She looks a little old. Um, oh, no, she is a fair maiden. May I have the honour? She's wife to Jarl Aiden. Okay, maybe she's not the person to go for then. Don't want to be starting any feud in here. Um, okay, well, what we want to do then in that case is let's have a look at the tavern. And we'll see if there's anyone in here. There's a higher blade, not really what we're looking for. There's a Nizar. How are you doing, Nizar? No room in the company right now, but that's where you've ended up, is it? You know what? You left us. We don't need to talk to you. Right, there's a Raman, the slave trader. Again, not really interested, but a traveller there. I'm looking for... Nah, one of our companions, ransom brokers, book merchants. Not the business that we're on for there. Okay, well, what we'll do then is we will head down to Uxcal, and from there we can get some recruits recruited to Sanuzda. 
And we'll see if we can't find a fair maiden in Uzcal. There's got to be some fair maidens in the land. Anyway, Matt Held. Do you hear that? It must be the crash of waves of the headland. We must be near Gundig's Point. Tell me about Gundig's Point. You haven't heard the story? No, I haven't heard the story. When Gundig Harry breaks came to Calradia from Nordland, he planted his banner on the headland and said that it would remain there until he recaptured its inheritance. His inheritance, he called it. Gundig believed that the scolds who told him that the em Pura had bequeathed Calradia to the Nords, when in fact he just gave us a small strip of land along the coast so that we would crew his galleys. The Skuld's tales at least gave Gundid an excuse to raise a warband. Not that we Nords ever need an excuse, mind. He sailed across the sea, rallied the Calradian Nords to his banner, and marched on the rock of Rivercheg. But the Vagirs killed him and threw his banner into the surf. But we Nords keep coming, and someday all of Calradia will be ours. I doubt that, Matt Held. I doubt that very much. You know, we've beaten you back. You know, we took Senna's the castle back, although... They still have gained territory on us and the Vegas. They are still the winners right now, I guess. Um, I mean, us, the Swadians, we started with four. We still have four. They started with three. They've now got five, four, three. Uh, oh, no, goodness me. We have... Yeah, oh, God. Yeah, we have five. I forgot about Halmar. Um, anyway, so I'm not in really any rush for a war to be declared right now, which is quite a unusual situation to be in. It's not normal that I don't really fancy a war. I'm normally very much keen for a war, but we've got other stuff to do, man. We've actually got stuff to do in this peacetime, like kill these forest bandits, for example. And is this a good spot to be killing forest bandits? I think it's a pretty good spot to be killing forest bandits. Okay. Okay. Right. There they are. Let's have our cavalry. Oh, we've got a fair few chaps there, don't we? Right. They can just stay there i think that's gonna be the good stuff right we want archers working we want our infantry working so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna jump off my horse here we are getting shot a little bit there is seems there seems to be a bit of a hold up there with a couple of uh i think they're lancers but they seem to have come on lads they are our lancers right i want to hear i want to see the notification that we've got some dead forest bandits on our hands here and i think we will now charge in there we go. There's a dead for us. How you do it? That's right. We will charge in with our infantry and we'll just give it a second before we send the cavalry in. To we'll see if we can get any kills for ourselves. You know what? I think we do it now. They seem to have split off. We'll get them going. There we go. But what we want to see is these Nords making a kill or two or three and ourselves making a kill or two or three. Because of course our, our XP matters a lot because that's how we get our big war band. And we're doing pretty well. To that result, I'd say. Right. Oh, God. I think I nearly just hit our um, recruit there. Right. I see a guy running there. It's a tight angle to shoot him in. I don't think we're going to get it. But we have lots of arrows and we have lots of cavalry going towards him. I don't like his chances. And there it is. Mercenary Horseman with the kill. Maybe he'll become Mercenary Cavalry there. And he'll go into heavy cavalry mode. One more recruit dead. I think that's... We can cope. We can cope with that. Trained footman is very good. Is that a four Nord warriors we're going to get here? Excellent. Uh, two Nord footmen there. I love it. Veteran horse archer as well for good measure. And another knight. And another marksman. Get some, mate. That's just excellent, isn't it? Right, okay. Nord warriors up here, I think. Lovely. And then items on the ground. Not really much of anything. And, well... We'll leave them be, and we will head down to Uxcal. And we will find a tournament. Oh, many, many pieces of experience ready for us here. Another trained footman is very good, and another Vagir archer is even better. And another... Uh, what do we got here? We got 9 and 10, so let's go a Lancer there. And another Knigget. That is excellent. That is just really excellent. Our weekly cost is actually quite cheap for what we've got. Rulands is doing very well. Everything's doing very nicely right now. We do have a slot open to recruit. Not going to bother. I'm not going to bother. We'll wait until there's a fair few of, um, to actually bother traveling to Nordic lands or wherever we're going to go to recruit. Right. What we'll do in... Actually, let's look at our character. Miles away from a level up. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Books cow we go. And the tavern we go. And a wandering minstrel. That's the kind of business I'm looking for here. 
Uh, well, let's see if we can learn a poem right now. Uh, the Storming of the Castle of Love. It's short enough and can be easily learned. It is an allegoric poem replete with symbols and metaphor. It describes how a brave but rough warrior wins the heart of his lady by learning the virtues of chivalry, becoming a true and noble knight. Its theme, that the role of a woman is to inspire but also civilise a man, is not appreciated is appreciated by some noble ladies, but not all. So basically, it's quite old-fashioned. Although we are living in the old-fashioned times right now, so teach me that one. Um, I deflected her sceptical questioning darts with armour made of purest devotion, purged in the forge of my heart from the slag of any baser emotion. That's a... Very good. There are many stanzas to go. Now listen closely. Okay, 300 quid to learn a poem isn't that bad, I don't think. Isn't that bad, but we should have... Um, is that it? Is it learned? Is it learned? Um, well, let's go to the tavern right now and just uh, get these recruits sent out. Or recruiters sent out, I remember. Ah, oh, well, the pearl one. How are you, my love? Okay, uh, what are we looking here? La, la, la. Retreats and training. I want to recruit new soldiers. Let's go for 50 Vegas. He hasn't told us where. Recruits. Recruit new soldiers. Vegas. Oh, we have to do it at Sinners the Castle, don't we? Okay, um... I'll come back later. We'll go to Sinners the Castle in a minute and sort that out. Right, um... Ooh, ooh, can't, Chancellor Herfast can actually help us with this courtship, can't he? He can maybe tell us where we should be headed. Chancellor Herfast, it's about time we had use of you. Um... That's not really what we were looking for at all, as a matter of fact, was it? Okay, um... We need to sell them. Uh, right, 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 right. Information about a lord. Not really what I'm looking for. Domestic policy. We don't really have a domestic policy. Okay, yeah. Not really what we're looking for there. Um, let's, in fact... Oh, well, uh, the pearled one. You might be a, a fair maiden for us to wed. You never know. Oh, God, we've left now. No, well, we need to go to the marketplace, if nothing else. And then we need to go and talk to our, well, uh, the pearled one. So we'll sell that business and... Say we're going to buy something. 5317 are our numbers here. That's actually better. Not that we can afford it right now, but it's actually better. Arms Merchant. Ooh, I say some of that looks pretty good, doesn't it? It looks pretty good there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Flourishing. I always love reading that. Flourishing with well-fed people. Anyway, let's speak to Arla the Pearled one. Maybe... Who knows? My name is Randomus. Perhaps you've heard of my exploits. I am Awa, whom they call the Pearled One, mother of the Saranids and their rightful queen. I thought the Saranids were ruled by Sultan Makim. I was born in a faraway land to a humble family and made a slave when I was but a girl. But there is no shame in that, for the mothers of many of our kings were slaves. The old Sultan, Azar, spotted me in the markets and was struck by my beauty. I entered his household, and there he also learned to respect my intelligence. As he grew older, he allowed me to coven in his stead. First I managed the affairs of the palace, and latter those of the realm. When Sultan Aizar died, it seemed that the emirs of the realm only natural that I should succeed him as ruler, thus avoiding any dangerous civil war. They insisted, however, that I should marry one of his generals, the emir Baibak. The emirs then lined up to give us the oath of allegiance together, to buy back as commander of the armies and to me as mother of the realm. For the brief time we ruled, our realm prospered. But alas, Baibak himself was soon killed in a skirmish with the Kurgits. Bloody useless, who dies to the Kurgits? Had I known of his death at the time, I would have been able to prepare myself against any possibility of betrayal. But alas, my husband's treacherous nephew, Hakim, came riding with his men, still covered with the dust of the battlefield. And drove me from that palace. Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, unlucky, but I don't really care about that, if I'm honest. Right, okay. We still need to find a fair maiden. We still haven't found a fair maiden yet. Let's go to the Luca and see if we might... Oh, no, no, no. Let's go to Sunder's the Castle now. And then we'll, you know, maybe have another look into Prim for a fair maiden. 